So now in this video we're going to look at how we can use a PNP bipolar junction transistor to fix a voltage across the load, basically a regulator. We want uh, 5 volts and since we're using a PNP bipolar junction transistor we can just set that voltage with a Zener diode. We lose about 0.6 volts from base to emitter and uh, so we're going to go about uh, 0.6 volts higher when it comes to the Zener diode than we want across the load. Now our reference uh, voltage in this case is actually the positive supply right here. So um, it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor. They have the opposite chemistry of an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So the uh, polarities, the voltages are opposite. Here uh, we could actually consider this to be zero volts and this could be a negative uh, seven to 15 uh, volts. Hopefully that makes sense. But uh, in any case, we are just gonna keep the standard uh, the zero volts negative supply is ground. We're just going to uh, keep that. We got the positive supply there. So in any case, the voltage across the load is uh, the emitter voltage in relationship to the positive supply. So here, um, at this point right here, because we got the resistor to the ground, will be about 5.6 volts less than the supply to the base. So we got the positive supply there. We're gonna lose about 0.6 volts. We'll have about five volts less across the load here than the positive supply. And we also have this resistor here because some loads uh, may throw off uh, the emitter seeing the positive supply in this case since this is a PNP. So that helps give us a connection to the positive supply so that it knows where it is. And of course, when you set a voltage in a circuit, it's a good idea to measure it. So we have seven volts at the supply right there. We will come back. And we can look at the supply voltage first, right there. And now our voltage across the load is in relationship to the positive supply, as I said before. And there you can see it's a little bit below five volts right there, um, but close enough. And also when I touch the components with the uh, meter, sometimes it uh, shifts them a little wrong. We might lose a little extra voltage. So if you don't see a voltage you expect, uh, try measuring it um, a little differently and see if it uh, does better. You'll also see the LED get dimmer at those points. But in case, here we go. Uh, we should have basically 15 volts right there. And uh, we come here, LED did fine. Um, so we got five volts. It's gonna go up as the transistor warms up because uh, we're warming up the transistor more than we were before. So it's gonna start conducting a little bit uh, better as it warms up. That's a danger where if it gets too hot, you could have thermal runaway where the transistor conducts so good that it doesn't uh, limit current anymore. So let's come back to our diode right here. We should do this with seven volts too, but uh, that's okay. We'll see here that uh, we have uh, 15 volts total across the Zener diode. We have uh, basically 5.6 volts right there because it's a 5.6 volt Zener diode while you're that reverse bias. And uh, so the rest of the voltage we got right here. So now in relationship to ground, here's, uh, and uh, that uh, threw off the uh, voltage there for some reason. So, so uh, okay, there, now we, we got a decent measurement there. We got uh, 9 point, uh, basically four volts here. The emitter will be 0.6 volts higher in relationship to ground. Um, so we'll do other videos and I've done them in the past where uh, we use that as a signal voltage. Whatever voltage we give to the base, we got 0.6 volts higher. We can send that to uh, other stuff um, for whatever reason. But in any case, make sure you turn off the multimeter when you're done measuring. And uh, 15 volts is a, a bit high right there. Let's set it back down to seven volts. 